These are the eight that have made it through to the men's vault competition. And these the eight in the women's balance beam final. The top performer in qualification when it comes to the men's vault, Pavel Gulidov. In the balance beam, Marine Boyer. There's a surprise <laughs> with her record. Could she be anything other than the uh, top in qualification? She was only a tenth ahead, though, of another real proven performer on the apparatus, Georgia Godwin of Australia. So it could be in for a fascinating balance beam final. The men's vault competition, as I said uh, earlier, Pavel Gulidov, he was two tenths ahead of the gentleman you're just looking at there, Boton Molnar of Hungary, the junior European all-around champion and the vault bronze medalist from last year. A couple of gymnasts from Hong Kong in this uh, competition as well. One of them, an absolute veteran in Jim Man Hin. 31 year old. First time we've seen him at a World Cup competition in five years. Lovely to have him back. Very nice vaulter as well. And just to let you know that from a difficulty standpoint in the men's vault competition, we have one gymnast who's entered vaults of 5.2 in both of his vaults. Then the second highest we had entered of all the applicable qualifiers, 5.2 and a 4.8. Then all of the remaining gymnasts were entering either a 4.8 and a 4.0 or a 4.4 and a 4.0. The first reserve, Sam Mustafi of uh, Great Britain, was very close to being in contention for the final. He was less than a tenth away from an automatic place. And he actually had a 5.6 volt for his first. He didn't manage to get it landed fully. And as a result, was just a, a fraction outside of the qualification berths. Had he landed that with the sort of score he's capable of, then he would probably have been the second or third best in qualification overall. So it was very marginal and probably of a great relief to some of the competitors who've got their eyes on a medal here that uh, the young British athlete has not made it into the final because he was somebody with the difficulty to really push up the leaderboard and challenge. Could be quite a tight men's vault final this though. Conor McGillivray, 20 year old, had a very good national championships where he won the silver medal on vault. Nice to see him coming through and uh, competing now at international level. Good decision making by the Australian selectors. They've taken people who've had really good performances at their national championships. Uh, maybe they haven't necessarily been uh, big contenders before and they've rewarded them with a World uh, Cup or World Challenge Cup appearance uh, and that paid off yesterday in Zach Perillo's bronze medal. A delegation from Hong Kong watching on, hopeful they might get something out of this final. And we will begin in a moment or two with men's vault and uh, women's beam. Well, well, well. What a delight this is. Ana Perez of Spain, the 25-year-old from Sevilla, competed at Rio in 2016. She missed Tokyo with an injury, a dreadful injury. It's been a long road to recovery. Her determination has been sensational. She competed at the European Championships and now she's back at World Cup level. Fourth best in qualification, 
13.133 and a nice start. It is as though she has never been away. Anna Perez of Spain, whose only medal in World Cup competition was a bronze on the beam in Cottbus in 2015. <laughs> to Pavel Gulidov of Israel. He starts with a roche that uh, was containing a little too much mustard. And that's rather interesting because as the top qualifier, his putting down of his hands has really set the cat among the pigeons in this vault final. That vault scored 14 in the preliminary round. A creative replay. <laughs> it's good to see his run up though, right at the start. Unfortunately, there is no avoiding the fact that his hands did go down. The gymnast from Tel Aviv. A very proud moment for him competing in this event. So we're just waiting for the first score to come in for Pavel Gulidov of Israel. His average was score for the first vault just as soon as we can for Pavel Gulidov now to his second so Pavel Gulidov fine in the second vault Kasamatsu one and a half and as I mentioned earlier he is the gymnast with the highest degree of difficulty of all of the qualifiers but he's taken a hit unfortunately with the hands going down on the first I think we're having uh, just a few issues bringing you the uh, numeracy for this competition at the moment The number is in for Anna Perez. It is 12.867. So she's down by less than three tenths from qualification. But she is back, and that is the triumph of the day. The gymnast who's had five arm fractures, three operations, also torn ankle ligaments and a fractured foot. Her toughness is extraordinary. Apologies, we uh, missed the mount there of Lea Francery. 13 in qualification. Oh, 
Oh, nicely performed wolf turns. Very good x-axis. Just a, a touch tentative in the first of those. A little wobble after it. Slight uh, diagonal lilt in terms of the leg position. Acrobatic series well performed. Free walkover as well, looking nice. Good double pike as well. Nice performance from Lea Fonseri. The reigning world school's all-around champion. Now, what sort of number for Pavel Gulidov? Thirteen point six five is his average. We won't be, I'm afraid, able to bring you. For technical reasons, the average, but those are the two volt scores. I'll tell you the average once they've uh, come in. So it's 13.65, a 13.3, and a 14. So he did actually score quite highly considering that his hands went down for that first volt. But it is a drop overall of about two thirds of a mark from qualification. That might open the door for this youngster, Botton Molnar. The vault bronze medalist at last year's junior European Championships. Already showing himself to be a very uh, elegant gymnast. Oh, my word, he was uh, a, like Gulidov, rather overcooked on the Roche. But the hands didn't go down. He did take more than a couple of paces, I think. He made the vault final at the Fana World Challenge Cup, his first World Cup final. That was last week. Quite over-rotated though, coming out of that Roche. In a way though, a good sign if he wants to uh, turn it into something bigger long term, like uh, a Dragulescu. 12.833 for Lea Fonseri. So she goes in just behind uh, Perez by a matter of a few hundredths. Very uh, impressive young gymnast, Fonsery. She wants to be a forensic scientist when her competitive uh, days are drawing to a close. Although there are many gymnasts who've combined uh, scientific careers with uh, active gymnastics uh, like uh, Kim Bui. 13.55 for Botton Molnar, execution down quite substantially. Well, that was cleanly performed, and one imagines he's going to make a pretty good case to go into the lead. 4.8 difficulty for the second vault in the preliminary round. Not as difficult in terms of what we just saw from Gulidov to Barbara Mokosheva of Slovakia, the champion on the uneven bars yesterday. Eighth best in qualification here with 12.1. Good line on the tucked uh, back somersault.
She's a gymnast who's been in really quite splendid form. She's got a maturity that comes with immense competition experience. And by and large, a real reliability too. And she seems to thoroughly enjoy what she's doing as a gymnast. And why wouldn't you? We enjoy watching her. Barbara Mokosheva of Slovakia. The smile of a gentleman who's gone into the lead. <laughs> Botod Molnar. 13.9 for the second vault. And that makes for an average of 13.725. There we go, confirming that. So despite having uh, four tenths lower difficulty than Pavel Gulodov, he goes into the lead by just under a tenth. Now we look at Jim Manhin from Hong Kong. Oh my goodness me, he was well off. Thank goodness, he's okay. The 31 year old. He made the vault final at the Asian Games in 2018, but we haven't seen him at World Cup level for quite a while. There was real concern in the air. That was his attempt at a double twisting Yurchenko. But his contact on the vaulting table was so far from being where it needed to be. got straight up and indicated that he was feeling okay which is a good thing and frankly the only thing that really matters in this situation Oh, what a nicely performed second vault from Jim Manhin. Well, that was more like it. We'll come back to that in a little while. Mokosheva with a score of 12.333. She improves upon her qualification display. Lila Mokai of Hungary, the seventh best in qualification. Bronze medalist on beam at the Hungarian Masters Championships in November. Seventeen, the Mokai. We've seen some good young gymnasts from Hungary coming through lately. Ah, oh, shame that she's just come off. And it was looking pretty smooth. As I was saying, some great young gymnasts coming through from Hungary. They did brilliantly at the European Championships to come fourth as a team. Twist round uh, nicely and stylishly into that dismount. Very promising. Now the second vault for. Jim Manhin was a Kasamatsu one and a half. He has regrettably been given a zero score for the first vault. So 14.05 for the second. 
but 7.025 because he didn't get the feet down for that first vault. But what has been interesting there is to see a gymnast putting in a substantial upgrade from qualification. He only produced a 4.0 in the preliminary round. And it may well be, because it was quite a small vaulting competition, that a lot of the gymnasts just put something quite basic in to guarantee a place in the final. And now we're going to see some changes to that with what they actually uh, produce in the competition proper. This is Conor McGillivray of Australia, the silver medalist at this year's national championships. Huge congratulations to him. The 20-year-old was sixth last year, so a big jump up. He is from Clayton in Victoria. And we welcome him to his first FIG World Challenge Cup competition. Fourth best in qualification. He's certainly a contender to get a medal. And that, I believe, was his first vault, which I think we must have missed. So we're now going to see the second vault of Connor McGillivray. And his score for the first was 14.15. That's nicely performed. Now certainly Connor McGillivray will go into a podium position at the halfway mark of the competition. It's whether he can hold on to that started just as he did in qualification with the double twisting Yurchenko we'll come back to that after this score 11.267 for Lila Mokai and that brings us to the uh, halfway point So warm-ups in progress. 12.9, the score for the second vault for McGillivray. That gives him an average of 13.525. So his uh, Tsukahara full up by five hundredths from qualification. means at this stage we have in the lead to Boton Molnar, second Pavel Gulidov and third Connor McGillivray. Must be a strange old experience for him, Artem Dolgopiat sitting watching. Normally the world watches him and they have to watch him because he is the man to beat. There is the gymnast to beat in the Commonwealth. Georgia Godwin and the gymnast who won the vault title yesterday. She won the uh, Commonwealth Games all around title in Birmingham in the United Kingdom last year and also was a silver medalist on the beam. And she is quite simply one of the great uh, gymnasts out there. Incredibly successful at Commonwealth Games uh, level. Eight medals. It's an incredible accomplishment. And seven times an all-around national champion. And in a nation with a real history in the sport of artistic gymnastics like Australia. It's a huge accomplishment. This is Georgia Godwin. Switch leap mount to begin straight into the uh, nicely and stylishly performed front aerial. Side Somi, very good line. Just tentative on the acrobatic sequence. The form didn't look quite right in the air.
with Godwin the second strongest performer in qualification it has opened up the final that unintentional dismount got so much power in that double pike dismount really nine tenths of an extremely good routine unfortunately for Georgia Godwin coming off on the acro series problematic to the Spaniard Nicolas Almir the gymnast who won a silver medal in yesterday's floor competition. Good beginning from uh, Nicola Almir. Sixth best in qualification, 13.275. Silver medalist in the all around competition at the last national championships. Starting with the uh, straight Kasamatsu vault. Four point eight difficulty score. Or full twist in Kasamatsu vault, I should say. Excuse me. The uh, straight one, the four point zero that we uh, saw earlier from uh, Conor McGillivray. Thirteen point nine for Nicola Almir. Second vault. Now, that could be something that gets him up there into uh, contention. It'll come down to the crispness of that second vault compared to that of uh, Conor McGillivray, who's currently in third place because he was, Nicola Almir, I mean, two and a half tenths down from his first vault compared to uh, the Australian. So that was his uh, take on the uh, full twisting Tsukuhara. Or the uh, straight Kasamatsu, depending on uh, which side of the looking glass one stands. Now we wait for confirmation of that score for Georgia Godwin. 12.633. So she is in third place. We're looking now at Lee Hratz from the host nation. Oh, she was oscillating a lot on the x-axis in the wolf turns and as a result another gymnast who's finding this a tricky balance beam final she had such a wonderful time in her home nation last summer winning the all-around and all of the apparatus titles at the Maccabia Games such a prestigious event in this part of the world Gymnastics competitions were dominated by Israel and the USA. And she is herself both Israel and the USA, having been born there. But now calling this country home. And unfortunately not quite calling the balance beam home at the moment, Lee Hirad. She's having a difficult time of it. Good finish though from uh, Lee Hirats. <laughs> 
can tell you that Nicolau Mir's score is an average of 13.475. If you're just joining the coverage now, please uh, be aware that when we get these vault numbers, we're not getting a full picture. I will tell you the average score though myself because we're seeing either one or both of the vaults displayed individually. So it is uh, a day to have your calculator handy. Now we have Elivan Joskovic of Israel. Now Joskovic, the fifth best in qualification, 13.425. The question with him will be whether he's got the difficulty to challenge. His execution is really rather nice. He got 9.15 and 9.3 for the execution marks for both of his vaults. It's easy to see why he's getting particularly pleasing execution scores. Certainly not by any stretch of the imagination a vault specialist, but as somebody with all around aspirations, good solid vaulting, 13.7. For his first vault, a 4.4 difficulty. His second vault in qualification, 4.0. So he's giving away 0.4 in difficulty compared to the majority of the uh, chasing pack. But from an execution standpoint, very nice, very nice. His first vault, he added just half a twist compared to a lot of the 4.0 volts that we've seen, but not as high as the 4.8s that we've seen from uh, quite a lot of people. So we'll see if he can break into the uh, top three because at the moment it is 13.525 that holds third place. Score for Lee had 10.367. So let's just round up the balance beam scores at the moment. Top three, it is Perez, Foncier, and Godwin. Now we have Alba Petisco of Spain. Third best in qualification, 13.333. That gap between Lea Francerie and Anna Perez is only three hundredths of a mark, so it's very tight at the top. And Petisco is certainly a gymnast with the potential to get uh, into that conversation. Very nice, lovely front tuck position, gets the knees tightly into the body. She's been such a good performer on this apparatus on so many occasions in her career. She really embodies that adage of putting your foot through the apparatus, of not being tentative but really connecting. Oh! And she didn't quite connect fully there. And that was unexpected for Alba Patisco to come off on her acrobatic series. So once again, the narrative of this balance beam final is a complicated one. So he's got such a good tuck foot position, Alba Patisco. She really does get the knees wrapped in tight. And it was absolutely a contending routine with 
just one uh, very notable exception. Now, into the bronze medal position is Joskovic, 13.575. He's just gone ahead of McGillivray. And the key thing there was his execution, 9.3 and 9.45. Now we look at Frankie Lee from Hong Kong. Two to go, so a guaranteed medal for Boton Molnar. Let's see what Frankie Lee can do. Fifth World Cup event, first time in a final. Starts nicely, the 24-year-old. We've never seen him at World Championship level. Hong Kong has produced some very nice vaulters over the years. We've had a lot of success when it comes to things like the Asian Games Asian Championships. So he's uh, Kasamatsu full, the opening vault. And the score 13.8. And that rather significantly is a big step up of three quarters of a mark from qualification. I think it's safe to say now Frankie Lee has put himself in the conversation. Did have a bit of an adjustment on the landing with that second vault. Nonetheless, nonetheless, he could well be pushing for a place on the podium. Now we'll come back to Frankie Lee's score in just a moment or two. And that is very much not Alba Patisco. Patisco's score is 12.133. So she's in fifth position. That means that Anna Perez, on her return to World Cup competition, has got at least a silver medal. Lea Fonserie has won at least a bronze. And she might be joined on the podium by Marine Boyer, the top qualifier with 13.833. A gymnast who is a specialist on this apparatus. A gymnast who has made Olympic finals and World Championship finals and she has been a European Championship medalist. Her execution in qualification was a superb 8.433. Well performed side Somi. Very powerful double pike to conclude from Marine Boyer. Certainly a very good case made to take the title or at the very least to get on to the podium. But uh, that was accomplished work from the 23-year-old from Réunion. 13.2, the score for the gymnast from Hong Kong, Frankie Lee. A 13.5 average for him. So he goes into fifth position. Very close though. 13.575 is uh, occupying bronze. 
Now the final gymnast, it's uh, Christopher Mizarosh from Hungary, the floor champion from yesterday. Hungary therefore has won this competition because Boton Molnar is in the lead and this is the last to go. Second place is Pavel Gulidov and third place is Elinan Joskovic. So can Christopher Mizarosh get his busy day off to a good start because he is competing in all three of the gentlemen's finals. Oh, that's good. It did take a little back step right at the end. So again, another full twist in Kasamatsu vault. We did see from Gulidov at the start the Kasamatsu one and a half. of the uh, gymnast with the highest difficulty uh, quite convincingly of everyone That's very good vaulting from Christopher Mizarosh. We'll come back to his score in a moment. Now, Marine Boyer. Boy, eh? looking pretty good for the title. And she's taken it 13.567 for Marine Boyer. Now, Christopher Mizarosh, the score for him. The second vault, 13.4. The average, 13.75. And he has taken the title. And that, for Christopher Mazalos, a wonderful outcome. Two gold medals won in the course of a weekend. Hungary one and two. Mazalos ahead of Boton Molnar. And third place going to Pavel Gulidov. Just about had enough execution quality on his uh, Tsukahara fault. 9.4 the number and he had a, a 9.3 execution score for his uh, handspring Rudy the classified results in the men's vault competition Pavel Gulidov of Israel taking the bronze medal but on Molnar of Hungary winning the silver and his teammate Christopher Mizarosh taking the gold The classified results in the women's balance beam competition, the bronze for Lea Francerie, the silver for Anna Perez on her return to World Cup competition and the title for Marine Boyer of France. The victory ceremony coming up now in the women's balance beam competition in Tel Aviv. The winner of the bronze medal 
Lea Francerie from France, great moment for her. Terrific performance. This is a wonderful story. Ana Perez of Spain returns to international competition at World Cup level. And she gets her first medal since 2015 and it's her best ever finish. Marine Boyer wins another balance beam title this season. And she's having real success in both floor and balance beam competitions at international level. We'll have the national anthem of France. A victory for Marine Boyer, a true balance beam specialist. And there they are, the medalists in the balance beam competition. The balance beam medalists at the Tel Aviv World Challenge Cup. In just a moment, we'll have the men's vault victory ceremony. <laughs> On with the scenes of celebration in Tel Aviv. And a very fine weekend it's turning out to be for the Hungarian squad and particularly Christopher Mezados. The bronze medal to Pavel Gulidov of Israel. He does very well to get onto the podium despite putting his hands down on his first vault. His high difficulty just sufficient to sneak him into third place in his home competition. Silver to Boton Molnar. His first international senior vault honours after winning a European Championship medal at junior level last year. And the title goes to Christopher Mezaros, his uh, teammate, and he wins it by a matter of hundreds. It was such a, a narrow final. 13.75 to 13.725. And we'll have now the national anthem of Hungary.
And there they are, the medalists in the men's vault competition at the Tel Aviv Artistic Gymnastics World Challenge Cup.